You've received a call from Detective Montoya. She says she needs to speak with you about an arrest warrant. Thanks for the heads up, Belfry. A was good. Shut up, you stupid bitch. <gasps> it's my father. No. No oh, shit. But, um, yeah, my bad. I just hopped off the shower type shit. <laughs> nah, you're good, you're good. Fucking, uh, what's called? Yeah, I was pretty much ready to go. I only said a second because, uh, I was literally, <laughs> I was literally standing right here with all my shit just had to be situated. <laughs> Fucking usually, usually when you call me, I'm like, oh, I have to piss her shit first. Yeah, so it's fucking waiting for me to text you. Like, yeah, my bad. I was like, me any second. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, my bad. I was talking to my dad a while for uh, about some stuff. And actually, you know, you know what's really fucked up is like, I seen, I seen your text, and then like, like as soon as I was done like talking, like 20 minutes passed. I was like, oh fuck. Uh, I forgot to respond to Jay, and then you started calling me uh, as um, as I was about to respond to you. But uh, let's call um. Then I was talking to my dad again for a second as you were calling me. But yeah. Fucking, uh, I want to get that new modern war. You know what's ugly though? <coughs> what? Do you know that new modern war? Oh, uh, what about it? Guess how much your dad is on this. Fucking well. Wait, why would there be data on the disc? No, people are buying physical copies and they're Harley pissed. Quinn, the criminal mastermind. Hmm? Why? Um, 
Well, you, I know me and you know that um, physical copies aren't going to be the copies well, it, it, it's been like that since Xbox One and PS4 came out. Like, I'm surprised the fucking average person doesn't know yet that when you buy a physical disc, none of the data is actually on there. Yeah, they're made to be Blu-ray or whatever because that's the standard and because it ups graphics and shit like that. But realistically, the reason you put the disc in and immediately you have to install all 180 gigabytes is because, like, the disc is literally the license. You're, you're like, like, if you down, like, so if you install any game with it with a disc in your PS4 or Xbox One and so forth, uh, you could literally just break the disc, sell it, get rid of it. As long as you own the digital copy of the game, you don't have to reinstall it. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> IGN's covering it right just now, like that. and I guess Harley's a back whole at bunch of people are salty that they got physical copies, research, and there's work. only uh, 72 megabytes on there worth of data. <laughs> Bro, how are they only just figuring this out, though? Like, <laughs> I, I, I figured it, I literally, it took me two minutes to learn this without having to look it up when I first booted my Xbox One. Oh, damn. I'm like, I'm like, Can like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally don't get how there's a whole fucking, like, community of people complaining about something that's been a standard for fucking, <laughs> like, almost 10 years. Yeah. Like, holy shit. I didn't know shit. about it till I met you, to be honest. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I just thought that was something that was easy to notice. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I only played on Xbox 360 online. For about a couple years before the yeah. Xbox One came out, because I didn't have a 360 until I was in seventh grade, right? And then, so I already knew, like, I paid attention, like, I already knew, like, I buy a game on, like, disc or whatever, it boots up, and then it just gets updates and stuff, right? So when I knew the game wouldn't boot up immediately on my Xbox, in that it had to, like, install a certain amount and then ready to play, but it wasn't fully installed. The fact that it had that much data, and I, like, in, like, one of the first games I popped in was Call of Duty uh, Ghost. And, like, yeah. it, like, like when, it, when it said <laughs> over 80 gigabytes, I'm like, holy shit, I've never seen a disc put 80 gigabytes. And I go to the store, right? It literally is the same amount in the store. You see how much memory is this game? It's the same amount of memory that it's installing to your system. So it was just obvious to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, cause um, for me, I didn't notice it till like that might be <coughs> than you think. PS5, cause fucking um, I had PS4, but I never really had internet Some like that. Yeah, I play like offline. And yeah, I never had to like download all the what the fuck's going on. Fucking, I mean, but yeah, it, but it probably <laughs> depended on what games you were playing though. But he, yeah, but he, but eventually though too. Like, once you had internet, like, like I guarantee you, like, just about the time you consistently had internet was about the time that every game met that standard. The only time a game was on the disc, if it was, like, fucking Boruto Strikers and it was only fucking, like, uh, 13 Something gigabytes. It, it, had, it had to be, <laughs> like, either between 30... No, actually, yeah, it literally had to be lower than 50 gigabytes to fit on the it's disc. Done. Without installing. And you want to know why? Because the discs that they're fucking mailing or like producing are literally only 50 gigabyte Blu ray discs. So, like, that's so. I guess I can see why a lot of people didn't notice. I just, I, I, I would buy a lot of large AAA titles, so it was something I noticed right away. But you know what's ugly as a bitch? What? I have to unlock all the... There's aerial uh, surveillance here. here. The what? Uh, so you the... Can fly to this location. You know, Lucius, uh... Oh, you know. have to unlock them all in your world? Yeah, I'm oh. right now. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Oh, hell yeah. Right oh, yeah, hell yeah. But, bro, you want to know something? I saw someone, like, in the comment section, right? Like, they, like, uh, I get this game has a lot of good reasons to complain about, but somebody was like, I don't know why when you start a new game that your fast travel points don't transfer over. And I'm like, well, maybe it's because you can all, because it's a new save file for starters. Every game is always like that.
and not just that, but you can literally switch characters in this game anytime. So even if that was an option, it doesn't need to be. Hey, bro, Fuck I can't it. find that second drone. You have to look really, really hard, bro. Just keep scanning. They're always like flying around or something. Like you're, you're always just barely gonna somehow miss it. At first, I literally would. I, I literally had to watch their patterns and hunt them down. Yep, I, I was just about to tell you. I see it. Oh man. Yeah, bro. Amazon be killing me, bro. No, I bet. Fucking. That's all of them. Honestly, like, like, it just, it really still isn't that bad, though. I just wish my foot wouldn't have been as pre-fucked as it was when I started working there, because I could have kept working, bro, and I would have, like, saved some good money. Oh, yeah, fucking, um, right now, what I'm doing, like, it's actually 100% easier than what I was doing before. That's a bet. Yeah, fucking before, I literally was slaving, bro. <clears throat> and, like, now, fucking, uh... My bad. Um, I get it. Now, like, I'm surrounded by people, so I'm not literally alone. And I could fucking talk to them, fucking chit-chat, hours will pass. The only thing is, it's 12 fucking hours. Uh, yeah, no, fucking, I feel that. Like, honestly, like, <clears throat> I don't know, I think if... If I would have worked a similar job, my foot, I would have still had the same issue with my foot. But I think I would have probably worked about five or six weeks before it got as bad as it did. Had I not been working 12-hour <coughs> shifts, even if they were only three days a week. You know? Yeah. Fucking. No, oh, no. Also, bro, for some reason, I guess pick, you know, what I'm doing now. <coughs> yeah. If you have no work, you can sit on the fucking table, bro. Oh, dude, that's dope, because to be honest, like, where I was working the first time, I had, like, one of, like, the best guys pretty much give me the okay <laughs> to sit down in, like, a secret spot if I really wanted to and needed to, especially because, like, I would literally stand there for one or two hours some sometimes with no work, noise. you know? Them, but... Fucking, like literally, but I like, still seen I'm, people yeah, get in trouble for can. sitting down, so I was like never sure. Like they say, like oh, like just clean up your area, you know, mm -hmm. and like make sure all your shit's good before you sit down. But like I be seeing, like you know how headphones is a big deal for them for some reason. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> what you call it? Like literally, everyone does not give up downstairs like they have one headphone nice and see the boss they're the be on their fucking phone bro that's a bet well honestly though like why do they even care because to be honest like no offense but amazon's one of those few places where you could be on your phone and listen to music for an hour and still get all your work done fucking four hours before your ship ends uh, i think <laughs> like, it's because uh they're the highest in injuries Oh, that's fair. People are dumb. Yeah. But, yeah wait, I'm gonna go piss real quick. Be right back. But this time, good work. I reprogrammed the drone so you can fly back here anytime.
our surveillance drones. You scan them. I'll make this place safe to fly. Hey, I'm back. Bro. What's uh, what's called? So, <laughs> like, I've, I've randomly yeah, sort of, like, uh, complained to you and told you, like, about, like, uh, how my mom's with my sister's dad and shit, right? And how I never liked the dude. And that she's taking care of, like, my sister's siblings and, like, wasting all our money and getting used and shit. Fucking, yeah. uh, dude, finally, bro, my mom texted me today and she's actually working on leaving him, bro. You got the scan, oh, I got the data. Like, nice. she's getting just an apartment for her, my grandma, and my sister. That's what's up. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, here. Really quick, I gotta crack my neck really bad, too. Hold on. Hey, but hell yeah, <laughs> though, for real. Like, you don't know how happy I was getting that text, because, to be honest, if my mom never did leave him, bro... I mean, regardless, I still want to, like, be really successful, do a bunch of shit for my mom one day, buy a house, whatever, but, like, fucking, dude, like, you know how much more I would have needed to do that had I kept watching her be in that position? Yeah. It fucking sucks sometimes, bro. Yeah, and, uh, thankfully, too, <laughs> she's, um, like, you know how I, uh, how I said my... My uncle fucking doesn't do shit for my grandma. Yeah. Fucking, so, um, like, uh, basically, my other grandma, you know, the one I was living with, my mom has finally had a really good conversation with her, and, uh, they're both, well, mainly my grandma, because my uncle doesn't talk to my mom at all, you know, but basically... Uh, my mom and my grandma are working together to get on my uncle's ass so he actually starts helping out my, you know, my grandma and putting money and not going on four vacations a year for the last, like, fucking 20 years, never inviting her. Take your time and do a full scan. Bro, how do you, uh, do the drums with the blue orbs on them? Uh, okay, so you have to wait for them to land. And depending on where they're floating, they'll likely just land to the nearest one, but pay attention to their direction. If they are <laughs> near one and they don't land at it, that means they just left. Fucking is that fucking drone right there? Well, but me one time, bitch. But now not this time. <clears throat> Let me know when you're ready to start the mission. Though. I'll just start. It. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause uh, you have the Harley one still, right? The I should, oh, yeah. you have you have a bunch of them because uh, everything you like did with me. Or no, wait, I don't know. Let me see. I transferred everything, so it should be strange. Oh, are you sure? Because this one says only four to ten. Was, was that a four to ten? I mean, even if you, uh, I think if you transferred everything, I don't know. It'll probably ask you when you boot the mission, because it's still showing me, um, it's still showing me like a few missions ago, you know, where you would have been. I mean, if we redo it all, we're only going to breathe it and level up. I'm trying to do... I don't, I don't mind doing... On yeah, I don't mind doing all your shit on your save. Remember we were playing and we didn't really know how this worked yet and we just kept going to my server? Like, I don't have everything completed yet. I don't mind just doing everything in yours and mine. But... but I honestly don't know what to do. 
Oh shit. Fucking. Wait, let me adjust the volume because I realized the game sound was louder once I started beating up enemies. But what were you saying? Yeah, sure, that's up to you. That's just, that's just the main story. That was the shit we were doing before. Whichever ones you want to start. You know, you're all you're kind of at the beginning with all of them. So at this rate, it doesn't matter too much. The only Harley mission you left out on was the last one. Bet I'm gonna Oswald right now. Bet. Clara Oswald. Dude, she was still the best, low key, bro. I don't know why people hated her. I mean, like, not gonna lie, I could be a little biased because she's hot, but she also wasn't that bad of a character. People just don't like change. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He said what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, tell me, dude, like, uh, tell me why, like, people watch Doctor Who all the time just to talk shit about every episode that comes after the Tenth Doctor. Yeah. Like, I don't even like listening to reviews anymore because they'll pick pick specific things or specific episodes to talk shit about or specific plots, but in all reality, they're I think like. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how good the series 10 run was. As far as David Tennant and the storylines that surrounded him goes, it doesn't matter how good that shit was. Like, I just think people are biased, bro. Oh, yeah. I just, <laughs> like, I just don't know how people can hate Doctor Who, even currently. What was my favorite, um, Call of Duty game? Uh, what? Honestly, that one was always pretty fun, but I never, um, I never played it <coughs> enough, I guess, to be my favorite. I would say my favorite multiplayer-wise was probably Modern Warfare 2. Modern um, Warfare 2. yeah, and, dude, it was sexy. It was honestly the best one for multiplayer, but I have to say, like, my <coughs> other, like, like, my favorite Call of Duties are always just... Black Ops because the multiplayer was always solid and there was always zombies. Hell yeah. My favorite was uh, Modern No, World War Two because fucking that was the one that multiplayer was kind of booming. Like, yeah, that that was the first time multiplayer actually like got good in Call of Duty. That yeah. was just before Modern Warfare started taking off and all that, and that was the first time they added zombies. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> yeah, that multiplayer was good as fuck. That one ain't Ghost. Ghost was kind of, uh, I don't know how to feel about it still. Ghost, Ghost was pretty good. It honestly just got old fast, though, in my yeah. opinion. I don't know why, like, the multiplayer, like, I mean, like, you could say, like, like, you could easily say, like, uh, you know, if I enjoyed MW2, you know, that I'm probably being biased because, in a sense, like, the multiplayer was still like it's still simple and similar it was just newer it was just like more vibrant rather than like you know looking like you're in afghanistan but um like honestly it's because it really didn't try to do anything more than what it was i think people dropped it like nobody hated ghosts they just like sort of accepted that like it oh shit i got booted to the main menu you did? Yeah. I'll send you an invite. Uh, but, um, oh, yeah, but, but, yeah, no, uh, Welcome. I just think because, like, it, uh, because they didn't really try to add anything to it, like, it was just, like, you know, it was, it was just normal Call of Duty, and, like, uh, I just think at that point, like, you know, Everyone needed something new in a Call of Duty game to not feel like they were just playing like the last one. You know, the only thing that was really dope was the aliens. I don't think they added aliens since. I think they've only just stuck to zombies, but yeah. I'd say like it was just it was just average. It wasn't like the greatest, but it wasn't like bad. Ghosts, really? Yeah. Oh wow! I I mean, 
I, I really only played Call of Duty, though, as well, like, you know, and I'm a couple years older than you since, uh, like, seventh, seventh grade, uh, but I never got to play Call of Duty online until I was basically, or no, no, actually, no, I did, I, uh, I did get to play while I was in seventh grade, just more towards the end, I pretty much spent, like, uh, um, I don't know, maybe it wasn't until I got eighth grade, but I basically spent my eighth grade year like online for the first time ever on xbox and uh you know ralph and austin and miguel um that that's actually how i met them uh so basically my friend jacob tutai i don't know if you met jacob yet he barely ever tries to even hang out in person like even when we were hanging out consistently but um <laughs> basically i had known him since like second grade and he got kicked out of, like, Willow Glen School, bro, like, during third grade year. And, like, it was, like, it wasn't even his fault. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, he was, like, you know, sort of acting out, but not really. Like, so, like, he was just, like, um, he was a bit of a different kid, you know? And he, w he was just, like, playing with, like, a puzzle or whatever. And then, like, all it took was for the teacher to tell him no, like, three times and to reprimand him before they fucking locked him in a room by himself That's for hours nice. bro it was fucked up i don't like how they did that shit to him bro like he like he may have like like he it basically it wasn't even him acting out it was just him not like um being like able to concentrate yeah. you know like we were literally we were like fucking nine years old bro and they were locking this kid in a room by himself without his parents knowledge like he was literally like we would like go walk to the gym or whatever for gym class and he'd be banging on the door bro his face just in the little window you know and all the kids looking at him like he's some psycho but he's not or wasn't you know but anyways but he got so he got he's he switched schools but we had always kept in touch for years so when i got on xbox for the first time bro that's like i started playing halo with him ralph and austin and many other games and, and miguel later like uh miguel i actually didn't play with him on xbox i only met him in person the first time because they were all great friends with him but he didn't get online or anything until xbox one you know uh so basically um i met him freshman year uh yeah hell yeah what the fuck? but it's funny because like like they all literally went to my school so that was the biggest reason why you know i really really knew them uh because um jacob was going to saint francis and for some reason they all wanted to go to saint francis really bad rather than like the Clement or high school or whatever high school comes after Clement, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't, <laughs> that damn near sounds possible, but I don't know. I really, I can't, I, I really can't remember why. I feel like I knew why they did, but I don't remember anymore. Like, maybe it was because of Jacob. Maybe it's because they knew Jacob was going to St. Francis, you know? And, like, uh, um, I mean, like, Miguel wouldn't have followed Jacob, but he sure as shit would follow Ralph and Austin. Like, uh, Miguel never really hated Jacob, but Jacob hated Miguel. <laughs> Fucking, but, yeah. Fucking, I don't know. I still fuck with Miguel, but he's always been... It's always been something else. Honestly, though, he's a lot better than he used to be. Who, Miguel? Yeah. Feels worse. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, the grown man that steals your Yu-Gi-Oh cards even though you don't know what they are. He, he used to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's hard to believe. <laughs> I think. <it> oh man. <laughs> Cause the way he was. <laughs> You're not screaming, right? No, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what what are you about to call him? A sneaky little Mexican? No, I was about to say the way he 
like is towards Adelise. <laughs> oh, pissed about middle school. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, swear. No, like a little bit of middle school came out, and he was like, "Fucking bitch, would have talked to that guy while I went to fucking high school, bitch." Bro, he, he bogus too, cause he's the one that broke up or her. <laughs> yeah, and he was being hella petty like that fucking bitch cheated on me and fucking dee 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 da 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 with a fucking Asian kid. That I mean, like I mean to be to be fair, like um. Like, while Miguel did, and, like, I mean, I mean, well, I don't know, like, I mean, not to be fair, sort of, like, I don't know, like, 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 oddly enough, like, like, while he was wrong for going about it like that, it was because he actually did love her still. No bullshit. Yeah. Otherwise, he wouldn't have, like, fucking, because, uh, um, I already know this, like, even though he had plenty of chances, he was basically just sort of, like, fucking with, like, girls' feelings. <laughs> I can't remember if he actually did, like... Uh, do whatever. Don't you tell me, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a. Else, or, no, I I know I know I know. Yeah, I know he messed with some other girls, but not gonna lie, even since the first day that I knew him, he could never like stop thinking about Adelise. No cap. Yeah. But it worked out for them. No, I bet, bro. I'm, but I mean, I I don't know, bro. Like, you know how females can be. I mean, I mean, like this is the thing, bro. How how, how much you want to bet she says like, shit just as bad when we're not around? You know what I mean? Like yeah. like guys don't really care what they say to their girls sometimes in front of their guys, but girls like um, depending, bro, they won't start talking real shit until like nobody's around. <laughs> but, like I, I feel like Miguel was low key like serious, and then like. Turns out that they were actually having. I didn't. I think Sometimes they have weird inside jokes. Nah, I'd at least came to me crying. <laughs> Dead ass. Ugh. Yeah. Cause fucking, we were at fucking all Pokemon going, and fucking, I guess Miguel fucking like. Yeah, it was just a bad situation that month. He was shitting on her and yeah. he was trying to figure out like why is he treating okay. me like this? Like did he say something? Did I do something? We're like, here to help. And then, yeah. like all I knew was Miguel was just being a dick. <laughs> bro, like like but the, but do you... dude but this is the thing bro, like M Miguel's like one of those fucking like 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 basic villains and the reason I say basic villains because he he'll be a dick or say some shit or do something not even to like necessarily just manipulate people for fun but to get his way over something stupid maybe he wanted to go to the mall and get a video game that, that'll be it'll be literally dumbass reasons what what Adelis was like, oh, you wanna go to the pumpkin patch? And then, uh, he was like, fuck no, what the fuck do I look like, right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, he was like, I was like, oh, what pumpkin patch are you going? Cause I'm gonna go, uh, later this weekend. And then he was like, oh, you could fucking take out Elise then, fucking like, you know? <laughs> and then I was like, I mean, I'm going anyway, so. And then he was like, are you fucking serious, Jay? You do that to me? And <laughs> dude, bitch, like, so swear, I was, swear, bro. He be saying shit like that, like, <laughs> on purpose, bro. Like, like <laughs> fuck that guy. And, no, and, he, and, he'll say, and he'll say it so nicely, too, so you think he's serious, like, in a regular way, but then he turns it into, like, what you thought it would have been. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> he just, like, he just likes fucking with people, bro. That's all it is. She didn't feel loved, you know? Like, she doesn't oh. feel like a piece of ass, and that's all he was treating her like. Yeah. And so he was like calling her a bitch and shit because of it. Jeez. Yeah. Rip. I, I don't, yeah. I'd say it depends depend on the circumstances. So that's good. That's good, hell yeah.
But Miguel's not a bad person. I don't hate him, you know. It's just He's not. He's just he did some dumb difficult. Shit, yeah. To be honest, like, and when I said he's gotten better, I would say, like, because I talk to him here and there still, and, you know, we talk about a bunch of things, and even though I haven't seen him in person, like, that much in a while, no, I saw him in person enough recently, I'd say he wasn't, like, how the way you were complaining about him two years ago. Like, I think, like, uh, um, you know, even when, like, he would do some really bogus shit, and then I'd call him out on it, like, Miguel, I, I, there were plenty of times where I made Miguel genuinely feel bad, and, like, he always tells me, he was like, you're the only reason I try to be a better friend. Hold on, I'll be right back. I have to pee anyways. <laughs> Find a surveillance drone and scan it. I'll take it from there. I'm back. Hey. Uh, yeah, when I said I'll be back, I realized that I was in the middle of a fight and there was no pause button. Oh god. No, I fucking, I feel that. It's because I'm with you, that's why. Yeah, so I just had to stick it around. You're good. Ooh. I fucking, yeah, I went to piss. Like, I don't mean to talk about Miguel. It just sucks that, like, that's what our friendship comprised of, you know? Yeah, I know, definitely. Well, I I mean, no, you know, I used to get totally way too frustrated with him after a while, too. But, like, he's not as bad as long as you just don't let him fuck with you, you know? Yeah. Like, you know how many times, like, he would start to try and do some bullshit again or something bogus, and I'd immediately call him out on it? Like, and I already, I'd already know, like, like, oh, shit, no, no. I mean, I mean, yeah, but, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, to Miguel, yeah, I'd probably say that, but not, like, in that, like, reaction, just more like, yeah, fucking, but, but, yeah, no, I just, um, like, you know, because usually when he tries to fuck with people, it's, like, usually just dumb shit, like, it pisses other people off, but to him, it's just, like, playing a fun chess game. You know what I mean? 
So it's, you just got to not let him fuck with you. Call him out on it. Even if he tries to convince you, he'll give up and be like, whatever. And that's it. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, no, I do, I do miss him, though. I miss everybody. I miss having everybody hang out all at the same time. I just... The only reason I would hang out with Evan and Ethan a lot more after a while was because it, it, it was just easier. Two people... You know, they talk to each other way more than the rest of the group. And, um, like, well, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's hard being host, you know, when you're, when you're hosting five plus people all the time. I'm on my way, though. But, you know, like, uh, like, let's say, you know, I invite Miguel, Austin, or Ralph. I expect to be able to invite all of them at once, as well as Ethan and Evan and whoever else. And it doesn't help that like you know even when we do try to set things up all of us are busy at different times oh rip my bad i didn't think it was a bomb threat oh i hate that bro when you jump right in and don't realize it's a bomb mission and then you fuck it up immediately yeah no i know what you mean. yeah that shit was stupid oh there's drones over here bro But I think this one's gonna nice. be landing around here. Oh shit! Right where I'm at. You got it! Hell yeah! Bro, you know Austin's brothers in high school? I I you know I haven't thought about it recently, but I figured I I uh, last last few times I've seen Austin, I saw his brother was getting older and fucking taller Austin you know Austin randomly updates us with like fucking <laughs> random weird shit his brother does now that he's a teenager <laughs> pretty much <laughs> shit like that it's fucking it's like it's horrible but yeah it's fucking but it's crazy bro because I like even like I, I've Austin's little brother I probably knew him since he was fucking like I don't know, like eight or something. Like I, I don't. Yeah. Like what? What is he? Fifteen now? Cause he's a freshman. So I what? I've so, known, yeah. I've known Austin since 2012. Or no, well, I, I mean in person I've known. Well, no, yeah, since 2012, cause that's when my freshman year started as well. My eighth grade year ended. So, um, yeah, since 2012. So literally ten. But yeah, no. So I've known his little brother since he was five. Wild fucking yeah, bro. That fucking little shit. <clears throat> I swear though, like I I spent most of my years knowing Austin, uh, and his little brother was still just some snot and I was kid, and now now he's getting oh, older, sorry, <laughs> you know, and like oh, starting to sorry. like be a decent person. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. When I went to Austin's house, I was like, damn, I feel bad for Austin. <laughs> Austin so shows, you know. Yeah, oh, and his brother's just like, hyper, yeah, and like, hyper, hyper. I, I know, and, and then like, his dad was too, bro. I yeah, was like, damn, <laughs> bro, no, like, no, like, like, bro. <laughs> I told you his dad like punched him in the. Yeah, face, yeah, bro. I was, no, I was just about to mention that, bro. <laughs> I was just about like, to say that the VR that was incident. My first time meeting, <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> That's right. Like, that I forgot you were up. there. You were the one that told me that. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Fucking, yeah, like, we we're taking turns on B Saber, and Austin's over here playing, like, at hard settings, you know? Like, yeah. Crazy. And then the dad's like, You wanna see something funny? And, like, he straight up, like, Bro. I'm telling you, like, he painfully punched him in the dick and ball. Like, God like, damn. If I got hit like that, I drop in you just like Austin did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Swear though, no, I've been there. <laughs> Fucking. So he got punched in the dick and balls by his dad, and then his brother's over here shooting us with them hard ass Nerf bullets. Oh Not my the god. the stray tiny ones, the orb ones that fucking hurt. Bruh. And he's like, You wanna see something cool? <laughs> and Austin's like, What the fuck over there? <laughs> and then he's like, But he's my friend now. And I was like, yeah, it's cool, Austin. But he, I was low-key getting fucking annoyed. <laughs> no, I feel that. Nice, you know? No, I like, but... no, like, to, to be honest, like, I, 
I hate <sighs> that I feel this way. Like, so, like, you know, fucking, you know, people and animals for some reason all, like, you know, like, fucking want, like, my attention or fucking, like, you know, like me. And especially kids. Kids always want to, like, for some reason talk to me forever or want me to play with them and shit, but I am not a kid person, bro. Like, I probably wouldn't play with a kid all day unless they were my own kid. Bro, well, honestly, you know what I'm I mean? a kid person, but he fucking annoyed me. <laughs> no, like, but, like, the, yeah, and, that, and that's the thing, like, most kids, like, are generally annoying because we're adults now and we're not like that anymore but i just i have a harder time bro with that i do i like fucking like whether they're naturally and like that annoying or a little bit annoying i can't do it i can't entertain them bro i can't entertain kids it's hard it's like i just don't have the energy bro you know like i used to be hyperactive when i was a kid so maybe that's part of it like seeing them in me <laughs> or i mean seeing me in them i mean but yeah no i'm burning myself out i swear to god bro any luck looking into those weird pills the doctor the website for the number yeah fucking boston he's he's like one of the we have to think this is hard coolest nicest people i know <laughs> hell yeah fucking him and ralph bro honestly like they've always been amazing yeah, i miss them a lot i felt so bad for austin when marina dumped him of course i know bro like i feel like she like like why did she date him in the first place did she ever really like him because i have a feeling like she didn't i think she did it because she felt bad. Yeah, like, like. Well, uh, I feel like she did it because she wanted to um try it out. You know, give it a yeah. chance. Yeah, I could be <laughs> full of myself, but I think she, I think she low key wanted me to ask her out. Oh, bro. Like, cause I, I had that. Like, cause I talked to her like for a second one day or whatever, or like, uh, like I don't know. It was just like randomly. Like we sort of like you know. Click. I got kicked out of your lobby again, Rip. My but, bad, but um, no, you're good. Real but, quick. Oh, what were you gonna say? So basically, when the time. mission became available, I could skip it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was weird, and then it was like, you want to skip this mission? You already did it. I was like, yes. Oh, okay. Are you just gonna <laughs> keep doing that till you get to the last one, or? Are you gonna like yeah, go I'll from there? Get to where we're, <coughs> we're at as fast okay. as possible. <clears throat> but, but, can I be honest with you about Marina? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was like she's like low key gay. Oh, <laughs> that could be true too. I wouldn't be surprised. I like tonight, yeah, trying to get to the bottom of her plan. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Cause like she, cause like I don't know, like she was a, she was like, um, kind of like a bit like, you know, like friendly like to me. So like I just really wasn't sure. But either either she just didn't like Austin and just went with it, or she's gay. I wouldn't be surprised though. Sounds like a sensible plan to me. I'm not thinking it's not sensible. Hanging out and they were about to do it. I feel like after that, Austin got really head ass. What do you mean? Like. <clears throat> so, he was like going into details, saying how they were on the couch, making out, and then they were about to, you know? Mm hmm. And then uh, Marina stopped it, saying, like, oh, yeah, uh, you know? And then fucking. Um, After that, they like broke up, broke up. <coughs> but Austin, Damn. Would, um, whenever he'd come Pokemon going, mm -hmm. if he knew Marina was there. Oh, bam. Yeah, but then he'd only stand next to her. It was weird. Yeah. Fucking. Honestly, though, I. I mean, like. It, like I mean, yeah, it's like a little, it's a, it's a little weird, but at the same time, like, like, uh, you know, she, she's the one that kind of like, you know, <laughs> made that happen. I just like, I don't know. 
like don't get me wrong like it, it's okay for someone to be like hey this isn't working out you know uh i don't you know want to do this but at the same time bro like i just don't think people realize that men are getting their hearts broken a lot more than women nowadays yeah, and women kinda just kind of don't fucking think about it bro they just get into shit just for whatever bro not even yeah. caring about what people think or feel bro, you know what so, I know this guy, she, uh, was talking to this guy and then, like, told him that was, like, my girlfriend or whatever, or he assumed it, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and then, uh, she invited him to a party. Yeah. And then brought another guy and started talking to him. Bro, no, I swear, bitches party. be doing that, bro. Like, like, that's why, like, you have to be, like, I just, I don't care anymore, bro. Like, these these females bro i don't care if she's a fucking 10 either she's dtf and wants to date you or she's not and you should be able to find that out in the first two minutes you know what i mean like that that's all it is bro like she wants you or she doesn't bro and like it like all like like bro there's like i just don't think men can really have female friends if i'm being honest because if you're if you have a female friend you're just in the friend zone. The only way you could have a female friend is she's a is she's a friend of a friend, and you only see that friend when you're with your girl in a group of people, or just a group of people in general, not alone. You don't hang out with girls alone if they're just your friend. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, girls fucking suck nowadays. Bro, I swear. <laughs> Well, like, fucking 95% of fucking modern women nowadays are just whores, bro. And then they lie and make up shit. And then they go on the internet saying niggas ain't shit when they're just whores. Yeah, just like, they whores. use all the good niggas, bro, and turn them into players. And then when they're getting played by that same nigga and more niggas, they think the whole world's against them. But nah, bitch, you're just a whore who doesn't value yourself. And now you're just a fucking whore. Like, that's all it is. She's like, no. Like, I, well, I'm just a whore because I fucking explore myself sexually and have sex with multiple men. Well, yes, bitch. That's quite the definition. Um. Like, fucking, that's the definition of a whore. Like, are we redefining things because you feel differently? Why are you slut shaming me for sleeping with 50 men before 30? Well, bitch, I don't know. Maybe it's because you're complaining about these men when you're the whore. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's just fuck, bro. You want to know something, bro? You can't even say words like whore anymore or call a woman a whore online without it getting flagged. But, yeah. if, you, but if you post a, a tweet saying men are garbage, all men should die, that'll get shared about 50,000 times before it's taken down. It's horrible. Fucking, like, honestly, bro, like, a bitch is gonna have to do something really special for me to treat her anything other than a piece of meat nowadays, if I'm being honest. Like, I, like, especially with a lot of the shit that I've been seeing online, bro, like, like, honestly, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna treat a bitch like she's not a human being, but I'm not gonna treat her nice anymore either, bro. Fuck these hoes, dude. Seriously, I'm not, I ain't doing shit for no bitch, bro. Like, no bullshit. Like, she she wants something, bro. She ain't gonna give it to me. I'm not giving it to you. I mean, she ain't gonna get it for me. You know? Unless she gives it. <laughs> because, like, this is the thing. Is, like, I'm not saying, like, you know, uh, like, you know, I'm not saying that, like, you know, a woman, like, owes me sex just because I'm talking to her or I'm with her or flirting with her or like engaged with her and taking her on on dates and shit. But the point is, is that like a lot of these women purposely will use you and imply that eventually you're going to have sex or even be in a relationship, you know, which sometimes guys aren't even that worried about sex. Sometimes they just want a girl they can probably spend the rest of their lives with. Right. And then these women just fucking play them though. And then, and then they get played by the next guy afterwards, and then they go on the internet saying niggas ain't shit. <laughs> it's a fucking whole cycle. Uh, 
but like you know like i said bro like you know fucking next time i start talking to a girl bro like i'm fucking i'm not gonna talk much about myself bro i'm gonna fucking like like i don't know i'm just gonna play it fucking casual honestly and i'm not gonna fucking simp or fucking do shit for no ho bro she like her car broke down she got a pair she got a pair of rent she hungry nah you can pay for yourself bitch <laughs> no 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 bro yeah no bullshit swear like only way a, any female is getting any fucking money from me or having me take care of her is if i for one i know she's working and doing shit and for two she's loyal and fucking you know three she's not just fucking causing a bunch of drama because yeah. you know these fucking these bitches nowadays bro they really fucking like to be lazy but then act like they do the most and that whole <laughs> wage gap thing bro you want to know why the so-called wage it, well, you know, and that's the thing too. That's the sad part is like the wage gap. Like, so even before, like, like so, like pre, like wage gap incident, right? When it first blew up and everyone talked about it nonstop. For starters, at that time, women were getting paid the same amount of men as men, but they were looking at an. They, what these women were looking at since they're fucking retarded they were looking at an overall statistic of all jobs and work and fucking whatever so what they weren't including was how many women take jobs that aren't as difficult like just desk jobs and shit you know they're not steel workers or anything like that they're not working in factories you know they take all these cushy desk jobs so that they can fucking sit there and get fat right and then fucking um so yeah they do, they do all of that, and then they have maternity leave, and they there's so many fucking factors into why they don't make the same amount of money annually, but they are literally getting paid the same wage. And even even if they are working the same job as a man, regardless of maternity leave, uh, most women are guilty of taking less hours for work than men. You know what I mean? So fucking, it was just like. And then, like, it's bad enough that it was proven to be non-existent, but women specifically make more money in certain areas now, and it's disgusting. Women literally don't want equality unless it means they get to have what they want, regardless of what it, how it affects other people. Oh shit. Bro, look at this. Come here. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, look at me. That takes care of Dr. Q's distribution and sales. Yep. I should head back to the Belfry. I can give the others an inspirational what? talk on how to stick oh, it to the Are you trying to do an ability? This is my one range technique, right? Yeah. Which it like it hits them and then brings them and I do a hella damage, but I have another one. That like I spread shit like 180 degrees. It's oh, that's shit. dope. Mine only just goes straight forward like this. Here, hold on. That's I, sexy though. That got spread. It is, but it doesn't like because the shit never aims at the character that I'm looking at. It just goes backwards and never hits anything. But is that your um special move though? That's my ranged move where I hold triangle. Hell yeah, here really quick, I'm gonna go piss, hold on, I'm sorry.
Good to see you again. I just can't wrap my head around it. Being brought back as a Talon? A large hey, number of them are but yeah, no, I'm not. I'm definitely never chasing no bitch no more. I'm gonna get my shit right. They're only gonna fucking chase me. Cause this is the thing, bro. Like, like, uh, I mean, you know, I wouldn't say it like I, you know, I'm that ugly or whatever. I'd say it's still because I'm a little fat or whatever. But honestly, once I have money and shit, bro. These bitches will just be flocking to me, bro, and it's only gonna take like a very rare woman to even like be worthy of being like wife eating, you know? So I'm probably just gonna be smashing some hoes for 10 years. Fucking hopefully, bro, once I get my once I can walk again, write my stories, make a shit ton of money, bro. <laughs> make shit. No, but fucking like this the thing is like I'm I'm gonna be raising my standards like Sorry. high once I really get my shit together because good like this is not good. Oh no, I'm already it's gonna like raise my standards high now, but like I'm not worried about any girl while I'm working on myself, you know. If they come to me, I'll let them do it, but I won't entertain them more than I need to, you know. Fucking, um, you know. And honestly, I'm not fucking with fat bitches no more. I'm not fucking. I, I fucked a few hey. fat bitches, and they always stink, bro. We got something weird down here. <laughs> 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 like no cap. Like, <laughs> like I, I'm sorry, bro. You fat bitches out there, take care of your coochie. Like for real. Well, you have a target. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, fucking, no, I, honestly, like, I, actually, I just realized you were probably surprised to hear that I said fat bitches because the only girls I told you about were actually skinny. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I only, I only, I only did fuck skinny girls as far as people know. <laughs> but, he said as far as people know. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> looking at. Well, I'm not even sure if he has cousins, bro. Honestly, only cousins I know for sure he has are the same cousins that I have. You know, like Austin's indirectly related to me. That's fucking weird. Yeah, like so. You know how like my grandma married into my family, and like you know like the cousin that I said the sheriff that was fucking with me. I don't care what you have to do. Keep that's the him. Uh, and my cousin Isabel Good night. are technically related to Aren't Austin. They, uh... That's wild. And I've Nothing seen Austin at multiple family ready. gatherings involving the Swansons. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny because all these years we didn't know. Like me and Austin, it, did, it actually, Check we it even knew each other for over a year in real life before we knew that we were indirectly related. Like me and austin think back a lot like and i didn't attend very many family gatherings involving the swansons so it's possible that i never saw him but it's also possible that i saw him like one to four times bro and never knew it that's dope though right that's fucking something else it's crazy how small the world can be sometimes But, yeah. Yeah, uh, what's called, um, yeah, like, uh, um, my dad's, uh, girlfriend or whatever, basically, who's living here, she, uh, she plans to, you know, get her own place for a while or whatever. Um, so my dad's just thinking about turning, like, you know, another room when she's gone into, uh, you know, or it was, uh, he said it was her room. I, I, I think maybe they have separate bedrooms. I didn't really notice, but, uh, um, he's going to turn into like a gym room or whatever, like sometime next month, I think, or in December or whenever, but fucking, 
yeah, like hopefully, you know, I can start doing some normal workouts again too, besides my physical therapy. Uh, hold on, I gotta crash my neck again really, really bad. I'm back. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I didn't realize you were gone for a second. Fucking. I heard what you said about the um, room and working out. Oh hell yeah! Then you started to cut out. Mmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. Basically. Uh. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Um. You know, start. Uh. Working. Doing normal workouts again, as well as my physical therapy. And like. Uh, hell fucking yeah! Hopefully. To be honest, like if I am gonna like start working like any sort of like a uh, physical job which honestly at that point I might not really need to because like as long as it's gonna like the amount of time it's gonna take me to be 100% like so okay even if I'm 100% right in eight months and I put in all the work I need to heal you know really did my exercise and everything kept up I would honestly a job like Amazon, I wouldn't even try to work that at least for another four months, you know, till I, till I'm running the treadmill and fucking never have any issues ever, you know, uh, signal source? What does the implant do? Uh, where? Oh, ice cream truck. It was the ice cream truck. Remember? Well, or no, you don't remember. Account. That's right, you weren't here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to get to Gotham Jungle. <laughs> now. Nice to hear from you too, my Oh, so this is the current Harley mission, isn't it? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I was, I was already sprinting. <laughs> they heard me, bro. They didn't even have to see me. Bro, I hate it when you can't jump off a fucking ledge. You ever try to walk forward off a ledge and your character doesn't move? Yeah, it just stands there. And then you like hit X to fucking jump and then you just jump off a building? <laughs> oh man. I'm assuming. No, it is, yeah. Fucking, like, honestly, like, um... If they released it perfect, that would have been wild. Though. Yeah, right, though? Like, like I don't disagree with all the complaints people have, but I think people are undervaluing the yeah, pros of this game. I'm outside the damn hospital, Nightwing. Stuff. We're going Let's to rush in soon. Stuff, you know? okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, like, in my opinion, bro, even though <laughs> I wouldn't suggest... Fine. Like, you know, the average player pays outright 70 bucks for this game. Even though I would say maybe just wait a bit. I will say this. Don't completely shit on the game or call it a lost cause. Until we know for a fact that the developers are going to update the game and add stuff. You know, I think the game has a lot of potential as long as the developers put some work in. You know, listen to the community, all of that. I just think, uh, what? Look at this gun. Oh shit. He's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
but I just but think I, I just think good. so many games like now I just think it's a standard bro to sort of release an incomplete game or to release a game and not add certain things until they know how well the game is gonna be and or is gonna do you know and like you know the thing is is like like I get that people disagree with that especially because there's a time where we didn't have that luxury but it's just sort of what it is now and like to be honest like you know we can't blame like the companies for releasing an incomplete game when not only the parent company is pressuring them their workers to get it done but the community pressures these developers to release the game sooner than another four years of waiting they all bitch and complain that the game's not out yet and then when it's out they bitch that it has issues you know so it's just like who do we really have to blame besides fucking everybody else or just over or just like way ridiculously over criticisms but Oh no, it's upstairs, isn't it? I went this way before, I know it's up here. Or at least the way that we have to go is up here. <laughs> It'd be like that, I've done that lots of times in this and the Arkham games. Bro, fucking... This game has me playing Arkham games, bro, and then hitting L1 to grapple instead of R1. Uh, in the Batman Arkham games, it's R1 to grapple. <laughs> yeah, so it's literally just flipped for me every time I play these games. If I ever have to hear that song again, it'll be too soon. Ah, uh, finally, I'm on my last fucking beer, man. I'm sick of drinking, dude. <laughs> I fucking, I grabbed some beers, I swear, I got some beers the other day, cause like my pain was kinda like, you know, that bad or whatever, and I just didn't want to, um, smoke through my shit too soon, but honestly, I just like, you know, like, uh, I just gotta not feel as bad as I do asking like my mom, you know, uh, I guess for money for carts and shit, but I'm also going to start asking my grandma too. Like, it's just, um, like, you know how my grandma was helping me out before I left or whatever? Yeah. So the reason I didn't ask her again and the reason I just ended up asking her to, like, if I could use the credit card to, like, buy beer here and there, uh, was because, like, I just, like, there was, first off, it was the first time she was really helping me and it was already weird because there was a time where she would have, like, you know, like, ostracized me for smoking in the first place, you know? But, you know, not only did she and my grandpa eventually become okay with me smoking, they also understood the reasons why I would smoke, you know, especially with my physical pain issues and shit like that. But I just, um, I don't know for sure how my grandma would feel if I told her that she had to give the money to my mom, my mom had to go get it, and that my mom have to, has to mail it to me, you know? Like, cause, like, you know what I mean? Like, like my grandma would feel weird about that. She, she'd think the FBI would be on everyone's doorstep in like, you know, a day or two. But the truth is, carts, they're not gonna, they're not gonna get noticed in the mail, you know? Because uh, for starters, they don't really stink. I, I've seen, I've worked in facilities and shit. I've never seen carts get sniffed by dogs, or boxes, I mean, boxes get sniffed by dogs. I've, um, I've never seen someone open people's packages, you know what I mean? I think it's very rare that someone's package gets opened just to get looked through, you know what I mean? Even when my grandma sent my PS5 and they were like, you know, it was just like some box that used to have a fucking pot roast, you know, thing inside it, you know, a, a, a crock pot or whatever, like even with some shit like that and it was all taped up super well, like nobody fucking looked through it, nobody x-rayed it, like whatever, like my carts came here perfectly fine and people even have sent actual weed before, 
in the mail. So, you know, to be honest, the only way your shit potentially could get looked through is if you send it through USPS. If you're sending anything illegal, always go UPS or FedEx. No swear, I I know. Well, I also I also um I also kind of know because uh, so you know when I was um selling those movies on eBay, you know like so I I uh I did I didn't really know how the process worked at first, right? Like I I realized that I could just you know drop them right in and they'd get sent or whatever, but I would you know go into the office and take it to the counter, get my receipt and everything because I just wanted to make sure they were sent, right? And the first time I went in there, bro, like this fucking like, so I just, I have a package, you know, it's kind of like, you know, obviously it's a small package. It's just like a disc in there, bro. And like the, the fucking woman had 10 questions to ask me about my package, bro. And why I was sending it and fucking like, she asked me what was in it. And I said, and I said, like, why? And, uh, um, you know, uh. And then she said, you realize I can look through this if I want. And I said, it's a movie. And like, like, dude, she was giving me, like, the third degree, bro, over a fucking... Over my first time mailing something that was in an envelope. It's fucking weird. Are you there? Are you falling asleep? Yeah. <laughs> oh, rip. Well, I only got like two hours of sleep. Bro, why'd you only. I thought you slept like maybe four or five hours before you got on. Damn. What do we have here? Bro. About ten to fucking. Yeah. I mean, if you need to like hop off and get a nap in, or a nap in, you're good. But I also know we're in the middle of this mission, so that's yeah, up to you. I'm waiting after this mission, then I'm going to tap out. There. Yeah, yeah, you're good, bro. She's yeah, get, get some sleep I as much as you can probably. before work. I'm guessing what? You don't start till 7, right? Uh, 6. 6? Okay, I couldn't remember <laughs> what the start times were when I was there, but yeah, I figured it's that late. Yeah, you know, you still have, still have a fair bit of time, so... No, I I've, I've been there, bro. Like I like uh um like no, yeah, yeah. Uh no, yeah, when you were playing Returnal, but no, remember when we were watching the Hellraiser movie? Like, bro, I feel bad because I probably only saw 10 minutes of it. No, I was passing out for a minute or two at a time and then waking up and then continuing a conversation. <laughs> like so I blacked out so many times bro I was never sure if you knew that I fell asleep or not but when you were talking to me normally I was like oh hey what's up <laughs> I know bro I gotta rewatch that movie I've been thinking about it like the last week hell yeah I know I, I did love I like I, I, I mean I'm probably exaggerating I probably saw at least like 30 minutes of it like like, to be honest, in a sense, I saw, like, the whole movie, except for probably the last 30 minutes, because, like, I was only blacking out, like, every other minute, <laughs> but... <laughs> so, I saw stuff, but, yeah. No, like, uh, no, but at what point did I, like, fall asleep completely, though? Because I know I woke... Oh, okay. I remember waking up about an hour later, bro, I think. Or I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah. And then like I was like, oh yeah, shit! I was like, yeah, yeah, bro. Little oh, shit. Uh, Jay, are you there? I'm like, oh no, you hopped off. I figured. <laughs> and I just shut everything off. My headset or whatever, and just put on something. No, it, it definitely was as far as I've seen. I need to re. I need to watch it again because I know there's a lot of good stuff that I missed. But like uh. Um, if you had to compare it though, how was the first couple Hellraisers? I only watched Hellraiser 1 and then oh. Hellraiser 2. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Finish 2. Like, um, yeah. like, uh, 3 
is like so they're all continuations but three finally stems away from the original cast Guess Harley, uh, so like yeah. one and two are like pretty much like you know like the original movies in my opinion you know what I mean like cause they cause they purposely like even by the second bro they continued it like you notice that right she was in the hospital right away yeah like 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 be honest bro they went hard with that story didn't they like they, uh both just together in general like i feel like they tried damn near tried harder than the new hellraiser but to be fair the new hellraiser also implied that you knew everything about hellraiser you know so even though it's a reboot it's sort of like just meant to also throw you in you know you know about the cenobites right yeah 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 bro can i spoil the movie yeah, yeah, go ahead, that's fine. I don't remember enough about it to probably connect the dots anyways. So at the end of the movie, after the Oh, do they? I, that, I, no, I wouldn't say that's the first time. I think in 2, in 2, they technically showed how Cenobites are made, but I don't know if that's, like, it was, it was, like, it was super fast how it happened. So, like, you know, like, you know the girl from the first movie? Like, she's basically becomes, like, what Frank was. And she oh, tricks this guys. dude into becoming a Cenobite, and she takes him to, like, pretty much damn near the core of whatever this universe is, right? This maze-like area, and he gets turned into a Cenobite, and even his personality changes. And he's like, like, oh, why was I scared of this? Because now he thinks he's all badass. You know what I mean? He thinks he's powerful, you know? But it showed how he was made, but it never that's said that's how yeah, Cenobites are made. You know what I mean? It never, like, told us, like, if there are other ways or, like, it just showed it happening to him. Oh, that's what they showed in this movie. Oh, okay, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Dude, that's dope. Then they then they really want... That mean, I feel like I have to rewatch it then because if, if they did do it like that then i feel like the reboot was meant to mainly reference the first two movies hopefully that's it bro that sounds dope yeah we are she's she's the no I swear fucking she's not like she's definitely kind of tough but i wouldn't say she's super hard you just have to be good at dodging Also, she attacks repeatedly. So like um you you literally only have about two seconds to hit her between all of her combos. I think only one of her combos, depending on how close you are, you won't be able to damage her in between. But that's about it. Most of them you can or all of them you should be able to get her in between. Yeah. Oh shit, that's dope. Hell yeah. I'm about to use that on the fucking Hell yeah. Oh damn. I know. I got more with it. You were pulling back. Hell yeah. Now, to be honest, I'm glad that they had us just fight Harley one-on-one -on -one because, I don't know, I could be wrong. I think maybe I had to fight Harley before in Arkham Knight because I got super far in that game the first time I played it. But I'm pretty sure Harley was just always there in the Arkham Knight game. There was never like a full-on boss battle with Harley before. Oh man, fucking... 
Every time I switch fucking um, games, bro, my fighting is off. Oh shit. I was trying to hit triangle to, to fucking counter slash dodge just now. Yeah, I seen that, bro. No, don't don't feel bad because guess what? Uh, that same exact cutscene when you use your oh, you still have your move though. That's a plug. But no, that same oh, okay, that same exact cutscene when you wasted your move. You know my micro bots. I used it just as the cutscene came up for me too. <laughs> And it was wasted, bro. I swear. And I'm like, it's not that, like I said, it's not that she's hard, but it takes a minute to beat her, bro, and you have to be precise, you know? So I literally was, like, just making sure I wasn't getting hit, bro. <laughs> Damn, I thought she was gonna miss me, but she nicked me. Definitely though, I'm saying it. like like this game is quality bro. This game is overall quality. It's just there's a bunch of like small things that it's missing that's not completing it as a multiplayer RPG game, you know? And to be honest, we got done with the Harley like missions pretty fast, right? You know the Mr. Freeze mission? I have a feeling that the one we didn't do yet is either the last or second to last mission. Based on kind of what we've seen so far and like the levels and stuff. The fact, you know, like the fact that Harley got done this fast, I only feel like it got done this fast because she has less to tell as far as Freeze goes, you know? But, um, especially with no Joker around, Harley's just kind of a fucking loose cannon. But, um Try again. Oof. Bro, me and her are dodging each other. No, that's what I was doing too when I was fighting her. I would always try to strike, right? Fucking like and then she would swing too fast and it would be red. So I'd literally be swinging and dodging at the same time, bro. Hella fast. <laughs> it was retarded. No, but I did like this fight because it was like the only fight that made me feel like I was fighting a character that wasn't just beefy, but they were on my level. Cause the only time we struggle this much is when these niggas are fat, bro. Or have armor. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? He would have personally taken me back to Blackgate. Like a gentleman. Yeah, that's bad then, alright. But I think you're getting the hang of taking criminals off the street and stuff. Uh huh. Like, you know, got some nights. I got dozens in holding and a triage nurse who hates me. I'm just gonna blame you, cool? That, I, I would say that's maybe what they should have done in the first place, but also if they would have done that, we wouldn't have had these cutscenes built the way they are. You know, I think like, cause like it's like, your idea is good and bad at the same time. But I think like you said, it would be, it would be better if they just added it as an option. That would be, that, that would be better. Yeah, it would like just separate from this. That would be dope, you know? I like I like I said shit like what you just said in the shit we were talking about. This game has potential, you know. I can completely agree. It's not nearly as good as it should be, especially for the price. But it has potential. No, I fucking love this game, bro. Like this is what I. Love. Master Richard, I do hope the night. Yeah, no, I love it too. Like honestly, like I don't mind just playing it to enjoy it, you know. But like I, but I can kind of agree why people are complaining and like. And, like, I just, like, the only thing that's kind of sad is I think we're going to beat this game too fast. 
Because I don't think that... I think that we're almost done with the main story, if I'm being honest. I don't think... I'm gonna Google it how long it is. That sounds about right. We've probably done it, like, because we've been playing on and off, I'd say we've done about 80% of that. Oh, yeah, you might the max level is level 30. Yeah, see, exactly. And remember I said the last freeze mission was 21 through 24? Like, and I told you it's probably the, like, last or second to last. Like, I'm not surprised. That's what I'm saying, bro. This game's just missing content. All the side missions, like the way the the game built all the side missions and stuff, isn't terrible. It's just not something that lasts. Yeah, it's not the best, and it doesn't last. It's like I I was thinking, too. They should try to add something that's similar to like raids, bro. You know. Yeah. But you know what I can see though. What? In the potential future, like this game, all it needs in a, is an update for missions, you know? Yeah. And if they do drop this game, I'm be hella salty. To be honest, I just think the game's only been out for a week. Like you said, like, I'd be salty too if they drop it, but that's the thing. Either they'll improve it or they'll drop it. It's going to go one of two ways. I just don't think the game could get worse when they're adding stuff. I think if they add stuff, people will love the game because, to be honest... Nobody had any, like, nobody complained about the gameplay. Even many people even said the game isn't broken. It's just missing a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to go to sleep, bro. You're good. Oh, yeah. But, so again, uh, I'm still going to save this game to like you hop on or whatever because to be honest i just don't want to beat it right away yeah, either i look you think we should touch this like once a week because i kind of want to save her yeah because like you know at first when i was talking about daily uploads i really thought this game had more to offer like, until like, like time, yeah. yeah until i realized like we were pretty much almost done with most of the storylines you know so like I swear to God, but like, yeah, like, I honestly though, this game is better having someone to play with anyway, so like, I really don't mind waiting for you, and because of this game, I've been addicted to the Arkham games, bro, like, I fucking, I, I, like, I beat City already, um, although there's a little more I could do in City, like, I technically beat the game, but post-game, it immediately has you switch to Catwoman and do a side storyline, I just, I got stuck on a little bit of, like, puzzle bullshit or something, and I was just being lazy, so I just gave it a break and just started Arkham Knight right away. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, sounds good, bro. Thanks Peace out. No Be safe. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, also, yeah. Uh, God of War comes out on the 8th, which is like a week or two from now. Ooh, bad. But do you want me to see if I can try to go half on it? Uh, this is GCN. no, it's okay, if, um, uh, yeah, I should be able to get the whole thing, but if you want to go half with me on Modern Warfare, I'd be able to go half on that. Yeah, that yeah, I'm, you get, like, two games in one. Yeah, I'm down, hell yeah, like, I mean, I really don't like playing FPS games oh, too much with yeah. a controller anymore, oh, yeah. but, but, like, I mean, but, I mean, like, I also, like, because I, my hands are so messed up that I can't really play keyboard and mouse that much anyways. If it's Call of Duty, like, I don't, I won't mind as much. Because, you know, as competitive as I am, like, you know, like, as long as it's not, like, Overwatch where the sensitivity is fixed to, like, fucking, like, shit. You know what I mean? Like, like, Call of Duty, the sensitivity is high enough that, like, I'll be fine on the controller, you know? 
I, I'm sure I'll have fun with it. Like, uh, I don't mind, you know, seeing if I can go half. Like, it'll be nice to have, like, a multiplayer game, I guess, to, like, get settled into again, you know? I just, uh, it just sucks because I got so used to keyboard and mouse, bro. Like, it's not that I can't, like, it's not that I'm not capable of playing on a controller anymore. It's that, like, you know how many times where, like, I know I could have killed someone if I had a mouse. <laughs> like, yeah. like I, I put like it was only after I did keyboard and mouse that I was able to point that shit out. That I was able, like, I finally understood the difference in why <laughs> people use keyboard and mouse. Like, I always knew it was better. I never denied it, but I didn't understand it. Yeah. You know. You know it's wild. What? Japan. And just like that, Harley's back at Blackgate. Game. Wait, why? Wait, what? Why? They banned it from being, uh, like, sold, cause it's so fucking gory. Really? It it it's that it's that scary of a game too. I guess so. Yeah. Japan banned it for being that gory. I think so. Japan or China? The the game. Oh, oh. Uh, are you sure it wasn't just China? Because China seems believable. <laughs> I don't think yeah, I'll be I'll eating ice cream anytime okay. soon. Okay, but because I was gonna, because like, because like, well, where did where did that where was that game published? What company? No. What 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 Someone country did it come from? Because fucking Japan, like, fucking made so many fucked up games, bro, <laughs> in movies and shows. Like, yeah, it's abandoned Japan. It, wow, that is like like. That that is actually shocking. Not as shocking as if you heard it was banned in maybe America or England or whatever, but like it is about 80, 80 to ninety percent shocking that Japan banned it. Oh, the reason why they banned it is because so I'm gonna read this article for you real quick. The All right. protocol has been banned in Japan due to the developers reluctance to censor the, the glorious gore in the game. So basically the director said, I'm not cutting shit out. <laughs> Damn. Don't, it, don't get it, bitch. Damn, bro. All Japan wanted was for like it to be a little censored. And the director said, no. which I understand when it's how, like how... a piece of art like that, you know? Yeah, I know, definitely. But how much you want to bet? It was literally just about 20 people in total on a board that said, oh, this game's too gory. We don't like it. And then, like, sure. that, I guarantee you, like, 95% of Japan wants to play that game. <laughs> They're going to fucking yeah. buy U.S. copies and shit. No, they are. They are. And, I mean, and it doesn't, like, it doesn't matter, to be honest, for the most part. It really doesn't matter uh, what country you buy a game in anymore unless like you want to like play on like you know line and ha not have certain like server issues you know what i mean like uh um but like every game you can change the language you know i feel like japan is petty and be like restrict it you know, region locking. They they fucking they bust on your door because they saw your IP downloaded the game. <laughs> oh my god! They said it's him, it's him. Fucking SWAT. <laughs> no. I swear to God, they did. They're just smoking more meth. Swear. <laughs> oh fuck that guy! That guy's the guy that imported the game. <laughs> swear. Oh, uh, he, he was like, he was like, screw you, Steam Unlocked. <laughs> I can't look at no, you know what's crazy? What? If you smoke weed in Japan, it's illegal. But you can smoke weed in Japan, People and so they don't know what it smells like. <laughs> Wait, dead so, ass? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty People sure that it's like, even the not... <laughs> like used to a point that where that. they don't know what it smells like so they might think it's like some type of sage or some shit that is crazy bro i mean i'm not surprised because like japan like okay so when we're looking at the modernization of the entire world as a whole yeah. japan is like one of the few countries that truly truly held to its traditional values oh hell yeah you know? Bro, Japan's so nice. I wish that 
Japan had territory like the U.S. Yeah. Because, like, the way they are, bro, is so fucking nice. Honestly, like, I heard a lot of bad things about Japan. I couldn't say for sure if I would have rather been someone who was born and grew up in Japan versus the U.S., you know, but I could say that, like, it is, Japan doesn't seem as bad as people make it out to be, and it's definitely a very beautiful country, you know, oh, yes. and, like, I want to go there one day. Me too, bro. Fucking, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Alright, bro, peace. Yeah, sounds good, bro, peace out. Dr. Quinzel's experimentation. 